Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista here to do the December 2019 tarot and oracle forecast for you. This is for Aquarius sun, Aquarius moon, and Aquarius rising signs, and it is for December. Hope you enjoyed your November reading. Pretty excited for 2020 that is approaching. Brand new, entirely brand new phase for everybody. It's even the brand new year, the first year on the Chinese Zodiac Wheel, it's the year of the rat. So lots of new beginnings, super excited for you. Aquarius, what do you need to know for December? Messages for Aquarius for December. What does Aquarius need to know for December? Messages for Aquarius, December. All right, flippy floppy. Um, <laughs> They've been really flipping around today and I would be looking at them more closely except we are on a bit of a time crunch. One moment, folks. All right, messages for Aquarius. December 2019, messages for Aquarius. December 2019. Wow. I mean, seriously, guys, <laughs> when I say they're flipping out, they are flipping out. All right, Aquarius, <laughs> December 2019. <clears throat> when does Aquarius need to know? December 2019. All right, four card reading today. As always, I will use the bottom of the deck for general energy for the month. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So a little bit of distress at the end of the month, feeling like you don't have what it takes. There could be a feeling of being an imposter here. I think this is all in the mind. I think you could be tricking yourself here. You could, you could very well be needing some more information, but there could be, you know, a spy quality here. There could be something that you feel is missing, information missing, uh, data. You could just be feeling sort of mentally out of place here, but you have some gorgeous, positive, very, very life-affirming energies here for you. So Aquarius, bottom of the deck. So this is going to support the whole month for you. This is four of pentacles. This is really feeling rather stable, right? There's nothing inherently wrong with feeling stable, feeling probably, you know, physically and financially secure, feeling as though um, you've made some right decisions in the recent past and you're on some stable ground here. The Four of Pentacles does two things. It uh, One, it rewards us for some hard work and good decision making. And number two, it promises us uh, even greater wealth and reward if we take um, some calculated risks here. I think that there is uh, possibly a comfort zone that needs to be combated here for you. Uh, the Four of Pentacles does indicate um, feeling so comfortable with something that we sort of can even make up excuses, right? Why we can't move forward, why we can't do something. Feeling as though, like like I said, imposter energy there, um, but it's all in the mind. <clears throat> it's something that you're either telling yourself, have con yourself convinced of. Somebody could have told this to you as well. There could be a younger air sign, someone um, younger than you, either in appearance or attitude are actually chronologically, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But again, because we're reading for you as an air sign, I'm gonna suggest that's your energy. These are general general readings, so please use these messages however you see fit, okay? So bottom of the deck energy is just saying we need to move out of your comfort zone here if you really want anything to come to fruition. I'm so curious because you have this underlying or foundational energy is the Empress which is constant abundance. It is constant overflowing of abundance. Um, you know, with the Empress, we're looking at, you know, Venusian energy. There is this beauty, love, truth, um, creation energy here, very female-centered. Uh, this could strictly have to do with females, the womb, mother. This could have to do with all things female. Um this could have to do with another woman. It could, could actually be a Taurus individual who is the foundation of the month for you. You could be an Aquarian sun, Taurus moon, for heaven's sakes. And this is just representing you and this very fruitful, bountiful uh, energy here for you. But as a major arcana out of the whole five cards here, 
it's suggesting that you're coming into the month really, really strong, right? You have um, everything kind of at your fingertips and you expect the best. Um, again, with this level of comfort, we have, you know, the pentacle energy here with the four pentacles, a lot of comfort, a lot of coziness, feeling really secure, right? A little bit, you know, hold up and maybe hold up in bed, um, cozy and ordering takeout. Um, so you can't really get too far in life if you live like that permanently. But it is sort of, you know, associated here with this Taurus, which is exactly those things. I mean, they just want to, they want to stay cozy. They want to, they want the best of everything. They want to be soft and cuddly and, um, have really good food and, um, really not make too many waves here, right? But, um, you're being, <laughs> It's being thrown at you anyway, so, and there could be some significant rushing, sudden messages around this individual or around this energy. Um, so again, we have, you know, bountiful energy. This is burgeoning, bountiful energy. I want to mention as well that this could literally be a pregnancy. It could also be uh, the birth of a child. Um, because it is right under the Eight of Wands, I want to mention for a moment that this could be rushing energy rather rushing messages concerning a Taurus or concerning the growth or burgeoning or development or um, abundance, right? A lot of extra abundance could be part and parcel of what's going on in December for you. Nothing to complain about there. So this is the problem, question, or challenge. So this is really you being able to, it's so curious, right? So you have this really nice comforting, kind of like, mm, I'm so cozy, um, everything is where it's supposed to be. It's tickety-boo. And then you have this, I'm stepping out, guys. Like, I got to step out on my own here. I've got my little lantern. It's rather similar, in a sense, uh, the two of wands, in my estimation, to the energy that is found in the hermit card. You'll even notice they both have their own little individual lanterns here. Obviously, it's the minor arcana version. So it's something that you can do something about, right? The hermit is sort of like it weighs on you, just like all major arcanas, right? Like this is just abundance, whether you kind of ask for it or not. Like the hermit sort of, it, it, it requires this of you. The two here, minor arcana is really saying, you know, you go do it. You go take these steps and move into the unknown. Be willing to take that ace of wands, right? That precedes the two here. The spark of passion, this passion for something. Also, all wands are action cards. And then we have this, you know, financial or, mm, you know, bodily sort of five senses card here. So you're going to have to take your body or your assets or belongings and create, you know, invest them. Do something with it and invest them because it will lead you to this uh, outcome, you know, what's likely to happen here. I'll tell you right now, if this is a job, um, because we have all of this uh, wand energy matched with, of course, you know, the pentacle here, and then the Taurus ruled empress here. If this is about money, finances, uh, job, career aspects, you utilizing gifts, talents, right? Remember, this is Venus rule. This is something that involves talent. Um, you know, if that's the case, you are, you're going to go from zero, um, zero to hero, uh, Aquarius. So I would be prepared. It's also probably going to lead to this sense of, you know, self-imposed worry, this, this sensation of, gee, do I really belong here? That type of thing. You're doing it to yourself. Just, and this is just sort of a warning here. It's, it's saying guidance or what is needed. You know, if you do feel like you're at a place or that you're, there's imposter energy here, um, or you feel like you're being watched or that you need to watch your step or watch yourself or something, you know, as the guidance or action card, I would say, take, go a couple steps up from this, you know, don't belittle yourself, have some more respect for your mind and your talents and your abilities at this time. We do have, as you can see when they're in order there, we do have her looking directly at all these messages. <laughs> so another way to read that as well is to say like, I really, really wanted this and I want to go kind of slow. I want to do it a step at a time, but no, Empress, right? The, the bounty, the abundance goes, oh no, all you had to do was make a little move and now you have everything that you ever wanted, essentially. And you're like, oh God, I have everything I ever want. Now what? So just don't stress about it. Just spend a whole lot more time being grateful and thankful. Try to take the attitude of the king of swords here or even the ace of swords if at all you have to play with swords energy by the end of the month <laughs> pulling you into the new year Aquarius I'm only laughing because 
Capricorn Aquarius, man, they can be so hard on themselves. It's ridiculous, but they have the most mental power to pull themselves out of it. So, you know, consider that you are more valuable, more talented, um, perhaps even, even more knowledgeable than you give yourself credit for. This could be novice energy as well. Perhaps you're learning something in an environment um, that you feel for some reason that you should know more about. Uh, don't stress yourself out over that. Just be willing to be the student here and just learn as you go. Even if you don't source and a lot of people around you have a lot of faith in you. So why don't you spend that energy having faith in the people you have, have who have faith in you? Have some respect for the experts around you who have faith in you. Get out of your own head about, you know, perceived or real uh, lack or insecurity would be another way to frame that as well. Oh, how cute is this, guys? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept. <laughs> Dude, can't make this up if I tried. Ask for and accept support from others. Really let other people help you out of a dark mind, dark place, uh, tricky situation where you've got yourself convinced of something here. Uh, again, you know, even if you are a novice or starting something new here, the King of Swords. I mentioned the two other swords energies. The King of Swords is really just saying, you know, I am the law, I am truth, I am justice. Um, again, we're talking about Venus energy here. It's Libra, um, Venus rule Libra and Taurus are both um, under the auspices of the Empress. So, you know, take that attitude. And if you must, if you can't do that, at least try the Ace of Swords, right? Which is a sense of victory and telling your truth, being honest. There could be an issue here with communication, um, or using your voice, beliefs, and ideas. Yeah, so let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. They have to go hand in hand. You have to ask. Uh, you're extremely independent, so they're not going to offer. Um, ask for and then accept it. Don't just ask and be like, I didn't want that help. Like, just take what they have to offer you, and they're really going to help you out of a dark place here. Wow. So you have magic. Magic is afoot. You know, with Raven, we're really looking at the magical world, the world of the unseen. It's really important here that you pay attention to your thoughts and beliefs. Somebody, at least one other person, I'm going to even suggest there are so many rushing messages, so much incoming support and value and bounty and abundance um, that is available to you here that it, it's almost like disrespectful to not heed what they're offering as well. So why don't you let magic happen? Why don't you let something happen that is positive? As long as it gets you out of your comfort zone, Aquarius, I think that this is extremely positive for you. I really, really do. Look at this, ideas and inspiration. Yeah, use your imagination at this time um, to gain uh, valuable ideas, be inspired by the process, um, you know, become comfortable with source energy as you get out of your comfort zone. Um, you know, let yourself shine, let yourself out there uh, and let other people support you. Let other people support you. Swear to God, with the two of wands right next to the eight of wands, with the empress underneath and then the knight of swords, it's a lot of rushing energy. Like the knight has a lot of, whoa has a lot of rushing messages for you. It could even feel overwhelming. Maybe this is all, maybe this is all that this is, that is saying that by the end of the month for you, you'll be like, oh, oh dear. And I think I did say this sort of in so many words before, you were just like, you know, I'll just get out of my comfort zone. I'll try, I'll try a little step into the, you know, direction of my dreams, for example. And then it's like, pow, it's a lot. So one second it fell on the floor, guys. Yeah, we had this really cool guy jump out of the Wisdom of the Oracle uh, deck. Clean It Up is super lit. I love this card, no matter where it shows up. But 100%, this is really telling you you're going to get out of your comfort zone, guys. You're going to get rid of what doesn't work for you anymore. And look at you on top of that mountain with your head raised high. You know you're capable of something significant having to do with ideas and inspiration, friendship, support, very rushing and constant messages here. Abundance, I'm going to suggest abundance in all areas of your life, which is positive, right? Um, so financial, health, wealth, relationships, travel, 
um, um, you know, um, romance. So we're, you're going to get rid of what doesn't work for you anymore. We're going to get rid of any negative. We're going to get rid of, um, holding ourselves back from our truest potential. Um, be willing to take charge of what you say and do very probably your own voice, your own beliefs here. And I see a beautiful, uh, 2020 ahead for you. So Aquarius, that's your reading for December. Hope that you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye for now.